pizza always working and talking. Cheese, man. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese, cheese, Mike. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. Family feud. Oh, cheese. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a new, exciting live episode of the Original Sports Podcast with me and the Barbershop Crew. Uh, you know, this is our pre-holiday show. We're coming to you from our favorite place. Big shout out to uh, Matt Paul for letting us hear. Rockwell. What are you drinking, Rasheed? I'm at Rock. We're at Rockwell. I'm drinking the Peach Izzy with the Big Juicy. Oh, nice. It's called Juicy Peach. Noobs, what are you drinking right. today? A little uh, water from Kirkland. <laughs> Hello, what you got? <laughs> the big juicy. Yeah, big juicy. Oh, you know, right I'm the softest of the bunch, y'all. I'm drinking a seltzer. It's a hard seltzer. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's hard. hard. It's hard. Yeah. I, I don't want to get bloated because I'm getting ready to ship off on a cruise for seven oh, days. Nice. Man, I got the free drink package. Actually, my <clears> wife did, but you drink that much? Wait, we got a free drink package? Bartender. <laughs> <laughs> no, not necessarily. I'm drinking, bro. At, at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> here's how I see it. We got the free drink package. If I feel like drinking, I will. At the end of the day, you're not going to be seeing it. Is it like 15 drinks a day? Uh, <laughs> it's like seven drinks a day. Oh. Something like that, yeah. Nice. But it's good. It's it's fine. It's fun. Hey, y'all like my shirt today? I want Peasy. Joey Peasy. Oh, Joey Porter. Hopefully I don't fall. Joey Porter, baby. This is senior. Actually, senior. This is it. Yeah, I was gonna say it's for JPJ mm-hmm. Jr. Though that's my guy right now. So, uh, you know, I gotta tell you, my favorite thing about Thanksgiving though is just the fact that I get to chill out on the couch. I still watch the parade if I can. You know, I've always watched that since I was a kid. You know, it's just kind of fun. I've always wanted that's on my bucket list. You're gonna be on a cruise though. I know I won't get to do it this year. I'll probably sleep for like well, they have turkey. They will have turkey. You know what they'll also offer us on that cruise on Thanksgiving Day? They'll offer us lobster if you can get two.
because you live long enough for free. That's why you see it on Rent the Family. But you know, then he got mad. Like, how you get mad? All right, we're back. I don't know what happened. He back. Guess who's oh, back? Oh, shoot. Back again. Back. Back. He's 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 what turkey you like? Wow, turkey. You don't eat turkey legs? <laughs> no. Wow, turkey. The steak I like leftover turkey? I got the stanky like, legs. I don't like deep fried. I don't like deep fried turkey. Like deep fried fried turkey. You don't like deep fried? It has to be deep fried. Ooh. It's just that dry out the oven. I'm so yeah. scared to make a deep fried Do you turkey. brine the turkey? I, I've been hearing that stuff a, a, yeah. a lot. Brian it. Yeah. Oh, they did two years ago. I smoked it. Or actually, last year. Last Thanksgiving. Uh, smoked it. Machine will probably smoke it. Thanksgiving, right? Yes. <laughs> Not the turkey. No. You have an appetite. Yes. From smoking the turkey. Yes. Oh. You eat early and then mid and then late. You eat after Thanksgiving dinner like we eat at four. Huh? Four o'clock. And that's it. Every so, time, every day, every, every every year. I mean. Yeah. That's what I'm telling. Time is early, right? Don't do don't do it early. Yeah. So we sleep the rest of the day. Exactly. Turkey. Yeah. I'll tell you what. No. We used to have it, four? We used to have it like two, and then we need to get your sleep, watch some football, and then eat again like, like six, seven, six, six or seven. seven. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Back in the day yeah. when, when young and I were, yeah. uh, were younger, his mom always had it down her crib. Because my my parents' house, you walked in the front door, you were on the back porch. It was that tiny. Yeah. You know, it was a steel mill town. This this was the kitchen. Yeah, right here. And it'd be filled with people with Christmas and Thanksgiving, like just filled with people coming at the come and drink. It was my dad set up a little bar on the counter. Great tent, I should stay out there for like three weeks, and when Christmas is over, he put that away. Good, you know. That's good. What he didn't realize was half of those bottles were filled with water. I, I, I wonder who did that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Pat. I drink all that alcohol. I wasn't in, uh, in, in, in on that one, not me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm my own house to deal with. <laughs> you need me to tell you the story? No, no we're, we're good. Tell you the story. We're good. Hey, look, T Sizzle, Coach Noobs, and Machine to Dream all here with me today. Thanks for joining us. Wait, that's the new Rocky Machine. He's been at the gym. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. And yeah, right. yes, we're looking for a 50 year old for me to cover. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you can get open five out of 10 times, get us out. Fifty years old. Bring it on, man. Uh, we know somebody out there. You must run a five one or better. <laughs> five one or five, better. Five one forty. Oh man. Man, he <laughs> put me down. That's not what I run these days. <laughs> Actually, I ain't gonna lie. I, know they, I ain't swept a foot. Those hamstrings get a little tight. <laughs> hamstrings, everything. That's just happen. Then you wake up the next day and you're like, oh, yes, hey, I'm good for That's two months. That's our job, Actually, but yeah, if you're fifty years old, you can beat me five out of ten times. Give us a call. Why are they playing shuffleboard on the on the cruise as fans is getting back? <laughs> shuffleboard. I go up into the gym, I do a little something, something up there for about 15 minutes, and I sit in a hot tub for two hours. Mm. You know? Why everyone so else is doing what? Everyone else is just on their own. Yeah. But no, who's all going? Just you, me, sir, and Vincent. 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 Okay. Nice. We'll bring in the girls. Yeah. Unless they got money, they ain't coming with me on a trip no more. It's Damn. all over. I feel you, man. It's all over. I've been waiting to get to that part. We just found out Always the other day. The kids. Check this out. We just found out the other day. My, my brother-in-law and his wife, she's getting stationed in Uganda for like three years. So Terry texted me right away, like seconds after. We're going to Uganda in the summer of 2025. But we got to get like this shot, that shot. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah. I ain't messing with that. Yeah. yeah. Like, thinking about, yeah, we're, we're in on it. She's like, I already looked at flights. I mean, how many times you get a chance to go to Uganda for free other than the flight? You're gonna be kidding me. Let's go with the show. Well, listen. Uh, <laughs> you know, it was eating people over there at one time. Uganda? Yes. That's where Idi Amin's from. Oh, really? Yes. <clears throat> be careful. I know somebody whose granddad went over there. Yeah. Didn't come back. Last call he made was he was in Uganda fighting it with Idi Amin. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Idi's gone. His grandson plays for the Bears now. Oh yeah, Penn State. No kidding. Yeah, that's pretty oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. My brother-in-law said that Uganda has the most uh, some type of gorilla, and I'm like, shit, I ain't going nowhere near near no gorilla. And then he said it's the youngest population country in the world. They have the youngest population. So that's that was a ridiculous. 
Depends how you want to look at it. Like children in the corn? Life expectancy might be kind of low. Wow. <laughs> is it like children in the corn where the kids run to the town? Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. He said, I'm going to make a trip to Yukon next summer. And I hope my wife used to think, let's go seven days because it's probably like a 18 hour flight. Does that mean we have to change the name of the barbershop crew? <laughs> I have no words. It'll just be the barbershop crew, right? Yeah, I have no words. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Was Kamala from Uganda? Yeah, he was. The wrestler? <laughs> the Ugandan giant, Kamala. Yeah. King Kamala, yeah. Shit. yeah the moon on his belly. Yes. Yeah, half moon. He was actually from Detroit, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody admits you're from Detroit? No, that's why he said he's from Uganda. Yeah. Hey, spontaneous reactions, guys. Let's hit it. Firing a Jumbo Fish, uh, Jimbo Fisher. Jumbo Fisher. Jimbo Fisher. Um, the man had 170 billion, 175 million dollars in Texas A&M. They got to pay him yet. Um, now, what do they do? I mean, who are candidates? You know, already Prime got. You know, they start floating his name. He's like, no, I'm not interested. Thanks. Norvell. Uh, I guess he's the coach there. Echo, Echo, Mark, Echo, Mark something. I seen it this morning. They were talking about that. Norvell, Kip, oh, Phil, got Duke. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, really? That's North, it. North Carolina? Yes, no, he used to be the defense coordinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At A&M, yes. At A&M, he was the defense yes. coordinator at A&M. They say him. Yep. Yes. Clingsbury. Uh, Will Cardinals coach. They're going to have to find him. Yeah. Kingsbury, he's like some somewhere. Taiwan or somewhere. Yeah, right. he's like, don't call me for a year. I'm good. That's cool. That's good, dude. But, but yeah, he was out. that's the guys that I've been hearing, so. You ever see his crib when they showed his crib when he was oh, coaching? Yeah, yeah, that was nice. So nice. But he, he said all the thing. He was like, I'm never here. What's the point of having it, right? Yeah. So uh, what would you guys do with that 75 mil? Would you go back to coaching or would you just kind of I'm done. Go I'm gone. Walk? I'm done. I'm gone. I mean, wait, 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 but he's not getting it all on Friday, is he? So, no. No, but right. the deal is, the deal is, check this out. I, I just, I, I just read this. Twenty thousand dollars is what he made on his first job. Twenty thousand wow. dollars as a coach in college for a um, year. He now will make twenty six thousand eight hundred dollars a day for the next eight years. Not not twenty thousand a day. Huh? No, 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 no. His first, first coach. No, his first coach. Yeah. Yeah. It was like State. Troy State yeah. or yeah. something. Some, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why. But now that. he's going to get. So tell me, break this down. How's he? What's he getting? So five five seventy five. 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 On Friday? No, no. It's a big payout uh, the next month. There's another one in 90 days, and then it's and then it's yearly after that. It's like um, a Bobby Bonilla contract. You can't get okay. for a long time. Yeah, I'm not coaching again, man. I'm a, it depends on what I, what he likes. Me, I like, me, I like the water. So I give me a, I give me a nice big yacht. And just, I'll be on the water. Yeah, I love the, the ocean. Water. Yeah, I'm a water person. Yeah, yeah me too. I like to see well. I'd like to buy a house on. I think I'd like to see. Yeah, I would go to the I mean, seventy-five. Million. I ain't going way out. You can't want to beat you seventy-five million, right? <laughs> you, you, know, you, you have a few places. Two million, million dollar house here, two million dollar house here. I ain't going out either. Why is that? I just think I'm gonna take care of my family, we'll take care of people, less work for people, people who need stuff. One of the things I do, and I, I was just telling him this the other day, um, my small town I came from, Steelville Town. We were just talking about. Uh, I would definitely. Ka go all day. Uh, I would go back in there. And, Drop a couple million dollars on it just to kind of yeah. keep the town up. Right I would there. take all the drug addicts who are infesting that town Ooh. and kick them the fuck out. Well, hey, how, how about this name? How about this name? I know. I mean, I like it. Urban Meyer. That name was not on the list. I like his name was sour. Yeah, he said yeah, he's. I never coach a Gator For what he did at Jacksonville, but he has a good track record in college. I never coach no. a Gator Popper. He's a shit ton. I'll bring back the Duke guy. The guy who yeah, was there, yeah, too. They get him. He knows the culture. That's the guy. He's been there. He is. Brian yeah, Co- and Angle cost you nowhere near as much as yeah. it costs. How about this, though? What is the Where did Jimbo State? Fisher come from, first of all? Florida State. Florida right? State. He was, Florida he was State. born in there, or did and he come from coach, somewhere before that? Any coach with uh, like LSU? Saban, too? No. Yeah, I don't know. We got to look into that. Too late. But, but you that, sir? I was not no. impressed when he was at Florida State. No, he didn't do anything there. He didn't do anything So, how did he make his name? I knew he took over for Bowden, but then I, yeah. I I didn't know like along the way. How did he make his name? If he, if he wasn't very impressive anywhere he went, I mean, they, you know, they have. He's a good recruiter. He is a good recruiter. I would say he's good. He's like Bob Malloy. Well, Bob won games too. Bob won his games. assistants won games. Bob won games. 
Yeah. So he's 45 and 25 with the Aggies. What's the problem? This year. That ain't enough. And, and then the best recruiting. They're recruiting class yes, of yes, the best. Yes, yes. Two years, right? Right? Two Several years. times they're, they're in the top five like the last five years. Yeah. You're not you're not even getting the SEC championship, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Something's yeah. going on. Right. You got the money. They the got money some, is just flood. They, 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 they said they got some of the best NIL yeah, in the country. Oh, your money, bro. They got money. They're getting recruits. But then again, let's go back on that. Is the five star and four star? Is that legit? It's inflated, is what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Who, who's making that call? Right. This guy's a five star. This guy's a four star. Like we said, some dude who never played. So who's giving them stars? Is that like state by state stars, or is that? I don't even know how that works. It's rivals. And, you know, it's, I don't even know how that works. Max preps. Based on living. Based on times and measurements. Yeah. yeah. Stats. It's more of a, I, I, think I, think, more. I think it's more of a what they project you to do when you yeah. get to college or when you go as you get older. But well, you're six five, two forty five. You know what I mean? Like, like six, so you're you're good. You're, yeah, you're a four star. Yeah, okay. that's you know what I mean. But it doesn't necessarily mean you're a four star. You got to play the game. I'm you sorry. Play. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You you play 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 hundred percent. I'm curious to see what Anthony. You know, this is a prime example of a guy to me. He had off the chart numbers. When he did the combine last year, got drafted really high, Anthony Richardson. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be bad. I'm not saying he's going to be great. But I want to see what he can actually do in the NFL in a 16-game season. I, that's what I, I want to see. I mean, it's not even like like when the kid from Damascus, when he played, was he, right? could you say, man, this kid can play? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, yeah. I've been to places where there's – quote unquote five stars and four star guys. And I got tap guys on the shoulder and say, hey, Which what number is it? Yeah. Like I shouldn't have to do no. that. Yeah. Like go uh, down to Darnell Dockett when he played the paint or something like that. Yes, I heard he was crazy out there. Yeah. Like yeah, I heard he was very good. Yeah. Well they still show highlights of him. I just yeah. saw some highlights of him yeah. recently. I was like, God dang. Yeah. He was a man once boys he had that big ass but pads. He was bigger than everybody too, right? Yeah. Yeah and faster. Yeah but you know what Bruce I can say that right Brice. Brice. Yeah. He's still in it in New Orleans right now. Yeah, they have one of the top right. defensive lines. Well, yeah. I mean, God bless that kid. Yeah. He really is probably his A game all, all the way he's around. Ball, I think he struggled a little bit in Clemson because he had some injury issues. And personal with the family. Yeah, yeah. yeah that I, poor I, kid. I, I, that I, will, I wouldn't advise him to put off this tackle. Wow. Really? Wow. Off this tackle is he more big? Money oh, they have like top height wise, hips, arms. I guess Taft will already don't know me. You're a big kid. I'm hoping sometime in the he's summer. He's so quick. I think he would have been amazing. Yeah. Wow. I'm hoping to he get didn't him like him. I'm hoping to get him around sometime in the summer. Come, come and come on and talk with us. <laughs> you know, he's Man. just down the road. We know a lot of people that know him and he yeah. has relationships with. Good kid. You know? Yeah, he is. Kid. Always what you know, my favorite memory about that kid is I coach Bocce. Yeah, you heard it right here. I coach Bocce. And we went out to Damascus to play. And Damascus has a huge, huge population of like special needs kids. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this kid, it's during football season that Bocce actually or during the end of football season. Anyway, this kid came out of the locker room. You could tell he just finished practice. Came out, was hanging out with the special needs kids, like helping, helping them up. And I was just like, "Hey, look at that boy." Really cool. You know, he didn't have to do that. He just went home. He knew, he knew what his fate was. Let's face it, he knew what his fate was. But I just, I had high props for that kid ever since I saw him do it. I really did. Could you see some of those kids we have playing Division One for Northwest doing that? I would hope. But there's, there's a couple, there's a couple <laughs> I can think of that wouldn't jump on, uh, wouldn't jump on that track. Hey, yeah, with so. the Jimbo stats, with the money I saw the other day, he's getting seventy-six million sevens, right? Yeah. yeah. In the last two years, the Power Five schools are paying one hundred and seventy. Hundred forty-six million for coaches to walk. Oh my gosh! Two years, power five schools, one hundred forty-six. Jimbo was getting half, half, more than half, no, half of that half. to go. So that that's that's crazy. That's some big money there. Yeah, I don't even argue with those guys. I'm like, okay, all right. So, Almost big point. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, that's crazy. I don't even argue. with <laughs> guaranteed money. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When you need me out. My thing has always been like, I'd love to know what some of these guys actually know. Some of these guys come you know, in. Lord. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to know what they know. Uh, I want to say that. That's where we're going. You know, you, you do. And we're headed there. That. We're headed there real soon. <laughs> uh, the second piece I have, 
the second piece I have on spontaneous <coughs> reactions is, you know, Harbaugh took a hit this week. He got another three-game suspension. Mm -hmm. He had a four-game suspension for a recruiting violation to start the year. Now he's got that three-game suspension. And did you notice, like, they said to him, they said something about, well, he was going to fight it, and they said, well, we have an investigation underway. He's like, okay, I'll just take the three-game suspension. So he really didn't want the whistle to be blown on him. What do you do with that guy? Like, what do you do with that guy? This is seven games in one season. He is going to sit out. Completely different topics. But probably one of the most biggest scandalous to me <laughs> in regards to all the crap he's doing as the Penn State situation years ago with Sam Dustin. Yeah. I mean, nothing has come to this yeah. to this forefront like this, but he's yeah. always in the mix of crap. Yeah. He's got to be out of there. They, why are they keeping him? Are you interviewing? How can the NCAA let him be coached? Because the NCAA so poorly. Right? It's, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's just they'll get around to it. That's terrible. By down he leaves. I listened to somebody make a rant today on TikTok about uh, what what uh, McAfee said, and, and part of what he said was true, and, and he knows who he is who's out there, but part of what he said, he, he's not seen the big picture with the NCAA. They're making bundles and bundles and bundles of cash in the NCAA. Money up, hand over fist, probably probably close to what the NFL is making because they have so many more teams. But at the end of the day, like, they don't have structure. In my opinion, the NCAA doesn't have structure. We're going to do NIL. They lost total control. What, 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 wait, what's the structure for NIL? Portal, NIL, they lost so much yeah, control. Was really bad. Yeah, the portal, we're going to let you transfer and play somewhere else next year. And play. play. What? And play. You don't sit up. You don't right. play. I mean, there's... You know, I, I, if I was the kid from, from N Dubs that went bounced from one school to the other this year, I'd be looking to go somewhere else next year because he's not getting highlighted. Right. You know, he's the number three or four guy there. And that's what he thought. They they painted that pretty picture for him. Right. You know, but, but going back to Harbaugh, what do you do? You bail, you go to the NFL, you start interviewing? Harbaugh? Yeah. Does he have options? Mm -hmm. I think the university's gonna sit and not talk to him. Now you saw yesterday they fired the the one assistant coach. Yeah, he's out. The linebackers coach. Yeah, he was in on a lot of this stuff. Yeah, destroying computers and stuff. Yeah, I don't think that's going to come with that. I don't think he leaves. Yeah. Listen, as, I, as, I, I, as I long agree. as we don't it's, see Sharon Moore crying today when they beat Maryland, uh, you know, be yeah, all right. I don't think that's yeah. it. That dude. That was a bit much. Yeah, it was. I love you, Harbaugh. <laughs> I love you, man. Yeah, yeah like I mean, Jerry Maguire. What is he doing? Much. See, like, Bud Black, doesn't Bud Weiser have a commercial? Didn't they have a commercial like that? I love you, man. Yeah. yeah. He ain't going anywhere. No. He well, needs, he needs yeah. I want to. They're I'm winning. Gonna, They're in, winning. He's not going anywhere. In and of itself, I mean, I like the one in Baltimore to coaches because he adjusts his system to the team he has to keep himself at the top of his game. Okay? I do like that about him. He did support his brother, though, in all the bullshit he's doing and getting the seven, seven game yeah. suspension. You know, I got that too. But this guy here, it seems like shit falls in there. Mm -hmm. Can't get rid of a winner. You can't get rid of a winner. Though. Yeah, you're right. Can't it, get, especially in college. You bring it in. Well, yeah. They win it all, especially. Let, right? Hey, get, let they, me they get the it doesn't matter. They're going to win. That's why I, I, mean, win that's why I wanted to get the three out. games. I didn't think nothing of it. <laughs> You, know, you got him in his pocket. You got him. You got to take money. Because suspend him for three games doesn't mean that he can't beat her all week. I know he's not on the cell phone talking to people during the game. I mean, yeah, that that suspension, I knew. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, you could definitely do that. I can tell you, I got suspended from coaching as a high school coach one game, and I was on the phone with somebody somewhere else. And they're like, this is the situation. This is where we're at. What do you think? Because yeah. they didn't know how to call my offense the way I would call it. Right. You know, I mean, that just you, you can get around that shit. But at the end of the day, the yeah. NCAA, I blame a lot of this on the NCAA yeah, for not is. having firm rules with firm consequences it and is. break those rules in place. It is. That, that's the bottom line. Yeah. It's like hockey. Guys do shit in hockey. One guy does the same thing as the other guy. And one guy gets like three game suspension. The other guy's like, well, we're going to, you know, yeah. You know, you can find three thousand right. dollars. You know, like how is that fair? I you know, put know. consequences and rules in place. Yeah. NCAA, is bad. you know, it's bad. It, it, the sad thing is that's the world because we see it in high schools, teachers too. Yeah. Right. High school. So hey, let's move on. Let's go to uh, week ten, week ten NFL recap. Browns and Ravens. Um, 
Browns with an amazing comeback, 33-31. But what happened to the Browns was they lost to Sean. So now they're down to Sean. They're down Chubb for the year. You're bringing in uh, basically your third string quarterback is starting. It's not even your second team guy. The kid from UCLA, what's his name? Green, Thompson, Robinson. Um, he brings in a dimension kind of like uh, Lamar because yeah. he can run the ball very well. Yeah. Um, I think he throws the ball solid. And he's not great. He's kind of like Lamar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, thoughts on that? Inexperienced, though. He is inexperienced. Thoughts on are we going to get to him? Well, in terms of the Steelers, I never feel good when we play an inexperienced no. person. Never. Wow, I forgot the Browns are cursed. Man. That's just crazy. Mistake on the lake. And your quarterback. <laughs> that's that's mistake on the lake. Yeah. yeah. The Browns, the Ravens, the, the real Browns are better than the real Browns. Yeah. Basically. Than the replacement Browns. Yeah. That division, though, is still on fire. It's still at the top of the league. You know, if you look at division by division records, yeah. you know, that division is still at the top of the league. That's but crazy. that's what happened also Thursday. When Burrow went out, he's out. T. Higgins is out. <laughs> that team's taking a step back. Yeah, they're, they're in trouble. Yeah, they're yeah. Sure. Um, How about that whole situation? Well, we that and that, and I want to jump. I, I, no, we, we can get into that. Oh, no. I don't care because was, they filmed him with his with a little brace on his wrist prior yeah. to the game. Actually. So you know what they tried to say? Mm-hmm. They tried to say that was part of his wrist coach that that he was wearing already. I'm like what? what? Wrist coach? I need a wrist coach. <laughs> in the locker room. Well, when you wear a little armband, they, they call that a wrist coach. Give me the signal. Uh, What's that? Hmm. You know, I don't buy into that either, Mike. I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, the, in the in the Browns or the uh, Bengals are in serious trouble about that. The league is going in depth to discuss that. So what they'll do is they'll lose the draft pick, probably. That's it. That's pretty severe. Yeah, it is. Severe. If it's an early draft pick. Third round. If you uh, don't, if you don't announce an injury, round. yeah, I I think they'll lose draft pick. But a third round pick is significant. That could, be, yeah. a, that could be a starter. Yes, Terry McLaurin was in the third round. That's not saying the but okay. Oh, that's just to your receiver. <laughs> you I bet he can get open against you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. You don't have to be fifty-one to get open against you, Terry. Definitely. <laughs> I ain't jamming Terry. No, I just played him this week. I put him in my starting lineup this yeah. week. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like Sam Howell. I like Sam Howell, too. Sam Howell will get it done. He's leading the league in passing yards. But but what happens to the Browns? Is this it for the Browns? They lose their quarterback? Who I wasn't really sold on to begin with. Yeah, you can't win in an NFL <laughs> now. Solid quarterback play. Right. right. $100. No. Even so, it got to be solid. You can't even decent. The only team ever, I think the Ravens, right? When they when they had uh, Dilfer, yeah, Dilfer. Wasn't that the only that was time? Ever? The defense. defense. The only time I've ever. Seen I, that. that was the defense, man. I, yeah, Tampa I, Bay. I think the defense. Tampa Bay. Defense came in. Dilfer too. Right? Brady. Look. No, no, it was uh, Brad. Who Brad Johnson played for and won the Super Bowl? Did Brad Johnson play for somebody in the Super Bowl? Was he Tampa? Tampa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah he, Brad, Brad Johnson. <laughs> Sam Johnson. I used to call him. He was pretty, he was pretty decent. Yeah, he wasn't bad. He's yeah. a big dude. He's a big dude. He's a big dude. I like he's him. coaching well, somewhere he's right, right now. The Redskins, I like him. You know what? He's coaching somewhere right now. I forget where it is, but he's got younger brothers that are playing in college somewhere, and he's helping out there. I just read an article about him. The Browns' defense definitely keeps him in, but they got a tough schedule yes. ahead. I mean, they do have the MVP in Miles Garrett. Yes, you're wrong. Let's <laughs> not start. Please. Please, let's not start. He just throws that shit on the fire. He just likes fucking with us. These dudes are uh, crazy. Best man. defensive they got, they got the Rams, the Jags. I'll skip the they, Bears. They'll beat the Rams. They got they San Francisco. Houston, Jets, and Houston. Oh, they, they, they can win a couple of them games. Yeah. Who, Cleveland? Yeah. Who do they have? They, they go 3-3. Three three. They got Pittsburgh, Denver, L.A., Six games Jacksonville, LA. Chicago, Houston, Jets, and Mets. That is actually a tough skip. It is. Denver's won the last three games. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Their defense. It's going to be the defense. Have you yeah, actually been playing play better? better? At the end of the I know day, they have. At the end of the day, have you seen Russell Wilson's stats though now? I just saw it. Like, he's fucking killing it. They, 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 yes, he's having a great like season. Well, he's got like a good season. Yeah, like 150 yards again. It's no. Yeah. No. Been, he, he quietly is having a very he's good season. He's quarterback guru. You know, I mean, he's 34 years old, so we don't talk about him. We talk about C.J. Stroud, who's oh, 22. Also, you don't talk about him because he had such a bad season last year. 
This listen, is where coaching matters. Listen, they, they coach. They've turned it around. They they're they've won their last three. They, yeah. beat, they beat Buffalo, Good. Kansas City, Good. and Green Bay. That's so, pretty damn impressive. It is. It is. What, in, what in are Russell Wilson's? Wilson's? How many touchdown passes? Get to the stats, that baby. Stats on Russell. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, he has, we got our own stat baby. Uh, he has 1,800 yards. That's yeah. it? That's uh, 18, touchdowns 18 touchdowns and only four picks. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Not as good as Sam Howell. Yards are bad. <laughs> yards are <thing. laughs> you know bad. How many games? <laughs> let, let me ask you a question. If you won every game 3 nothing, would you be happy? Every game. In the NFL, yes. Yeah, okay. So – what they're doing, him having 18 touchdowns, four interceptions, 1,800 yards, that's good. I'm okay with that. Like, people want to bitch about Kenny Pickett, okay? I get it. He misses throws. I get all that shit. But the Steelers are 6-3. and three. We're a bad 6-3. Well, there's a lot of teams that are bad whatever and whatever. We're like the Vikings a couple years ago when they made it to the playoffs. They were like 14-2. and two. We're that team, though. Here's the one thing about Pickett, though, and I'll say, okay, I'm homered. I get it. Shut the hell up. Um, at the end of the day, though, I think Tomlin's saying, this is what I want you to do. Yeah. I don't need you to make these throws Literally. down the middle of the field, risking a turnover. I want safe throws. I want to move the ball down the field. Let's think about that. Yeah, let's think about that. That safe, them safe throws, that they're not going to get us first downs. That's not going to get us wins. But you're not Tomlin, and you're not thinking like Tomlin. This is the way Mike Tomlin thinks, and I respect this. Because why? He knows they're not going to fire him? No, this is all their money's in their defense, dude. All their money's in their defense. That's, this, that's this, money this is the question I asked you earlier. Yeah. yeah, I asked you this question earlier. Would you rather have a quarterback who can win you the game or a quarterback who's not going to lose you the game? B. Then that's Kenny Pickett. That's Kenny Pickett. A. I'll take Mahomes. <laughs> A, <laughs> A would be like Mahomes. Josh. Uh, I got B. I'm going to go with B. Not losing me again. Hey, what do you think Mahomes would be? Like if Mahomes wasn't on that team, if he wasn't on Kansas City. Put him in the Steelers. Oh, shit. <laughs> they might be 9-0. 8-1. Uh, they might have lost a San Francisco game. Yes, because then Pickens can run some routes. Pickens would be ridiculous. Well, if the same coordinator. <clears throat> Are you telling me that they're not running pickings around the middle? I showed you the routes. That's true. They charted yeah. the routes. Everything is on the outside of the field. So you're avoiding the when, when Pickens runs a route in the right. middle of the field, he scores a touchdown. He's so elusive once he gets the balls in his hand. He's so elusive that he gets in the end zone. The ball's in his hand. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. That's from a health teacher. Hey, give me one. Uh, but, you know, like. They showed it. Now, I'm hoping with Friar Roof coming back tomorrow for the Steelers. I don't know how we went down the I'm sorry, we went down a rabbit hole. Sorry, hey, but are we Pittsburgh based? Yeah, sort of. But at the end of the day, we're going to see what happens when Friar Roof is going down the middle of the field to take some of that pressure. Does Friar Roof mean less play for Washington? Because you know that Washington's been out there blocking his ass off. Yeah, but Washington has like one catch for six yards. Two. Okay. Yeah, he looks awkward, bro. Isn't it weird? He's he's got, so you know what's going to happen to him? What? He's going to tackle. I told six, you that from the beginning. 6'10". No, he's 6'9". 6'9". He ran something crazy. You ran a ridiculous time to the top. He's going to be Larry Brown. You know Larry Brown came up no, the no, tight end? No, 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 tackle no, no, eligible. No, no, no. I remember when Larry Brown was a tight end. Larry Brown played for the Steelers back in the yeah. 70s. Came in as a tight end. Yeah. Uh, two years later, he converted the left tackle. He was outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, he's outstanding. Yeah. You know. He's Darnell, athletic. Obviously, he's athletic. It's awesome how much Darnell Washington block. Yes. When he gets the ball, he catches it, but he doesn't go anywhere. It takes him a while to get started. But having three tackles on your offensive line is pretty impressive. That's, that's, that's why the running game's been clicking. Hey, hey yeah, look, what they're putting him over by Robert Jones. Have you seen Robert Jones block anybody lately? Like, you got to turn on the Steelers tomorrow because yeah. he takes dudes and he just puts them backwards. Nice. There is no penetration. Be, I'm excited side. for it. It's like that pizza from Belisario's. We put that back. Let's go. Next. Our right. right, next game I was going to talk about was the Niners and Jaguars. Like, you know, we're, we're back to where the Jaguars were, you guys. It was 34-3, Niners over Jaguars, and it was in Jacksonville. Oh, sweet. Shout out to our guy from Rockwell. Appreciate it. Um, 
we're back to where the Jaguars are. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of pressure on Trevor Lawrence. He can't carry a team. Travis Hanteen went. I you know, weeks. MIA. He really didn't do much against Pittsburgh when they beat him either. You know, I mean, Travis ain't it, huh? Travis ain't it. I think Travis is it, but I think Trevor. You know, I'm sorry, Tre- Trevor Lawrence. Yes, <clears throat> I think Trevor is it as well. But I think you need to have a guy in there calling a more wide open offense for them. I think Peterson's a little too conservative <laughs> with the way he's approaching it with the style of after. So you guys are putting him on tier two. Yeah, I don't know. He has nine touchdowns, six INTs. That's, yeah, that's that's very clear. Yeah, nine touchdowns. Yeah. Tier two. Yeah. So he's going to tier two. Uh, that's uh, one one TD a game. I would put him in tier three. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Well, how many does Herbert have just out your ass? But he does have 21. He has 300 yards, more yards than Russell Wilson. At the end of the day, though, he doesn't have a guy calling wide open offense. Herbert's offense is this. <laughs> They're struggling, but Herbert has uh, 17 touchdowns in five hits. So he's almost that's that's three to one. That's more than three to one. Right. I'm going to look at Powell one time. Too legit. Oh, you're good. It's, it's too, too legit, legit to quit. I love looking at these numbers. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have these off the top of my head. No, folks. no, no. It's yeah, it's good. You got to memorize that. Be worried about you. This is what it's all about. It's a podcast. If, if yeah, if if I Mac these McAfee wishes, hey Mac, <laughs> you wish you were here with us, don't you? It, which is McAfee? Oh, who's yeah. cut off T-shirt shit? Yeah. If I memorized these I, or knew these off the top of my head, I'd probably would be on this podcast. But yeah, it'd well, be seventeen and nine. It's seventeen okay. touchdowns. Okay. Charge, you know, I'd have a job at ESPN. Oh, <laughs> Oklahoma. They just fired 20, everybody. 20, what? 2,700 yards. That's that's crazy. That is. I mean, but they can't run the ball right now. What that could have missed like what four games? No, no, we went back to how. This oh, is how. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that season. Yeah, yeah. why? Well, I, I like Brian Robinson though. Get the ball in his hands. It's the offensive line. So yeah, you're the saying those are good blocking tight ends. Okay. We're not talking about Mr. How from Gilly's Island. Next. <laughs> okay. Uh, next game <laughs> was the Steelers and Packers. Pittsburgh come on to win 23-19. Here's my problem with that. They came out of the gates. They were scorching. What was it, seventeen three or some shit? They scored the first three drives. Yeah. Touchdown, touchdown, field goal. And it wasn't that the Packers adjusted. It was that the Steelers adjusted the style of offense they wanted to run to go into the Tomlin shell, is what I call it. I call it yeah. the Tomlin shell. And they quit doing it. They quit playing aggressive offense. Take the foot off the gas. Yeah, yeah. Let's it's just like they do a prevent defense and prevent uh, offense. Yeah, I agree. You know, every time somebody looks at me and said, and they tell me, "Well, Tomlin, man, he could he get hired by ten teams if he got fired by Pittsburgh." You would. I always chuckle to myself because I'm thinking, "Go ahead," mm-hmm. because you know this style of offense, this style of approach. I get it. I get it. We're winning. I get it. No. My thing is, you gotta be careful what you ask for. Now we gotta get new coach. Who's coaching? I always tell y'all this. Grass is greener. Grass is greener. I always tell y'all this in the text. Go, so when you get rid of somebody, when you tell me something, get rid of somebody, you need to come back with who we bring them in. So the, yeah, I'm all for it. Did you, you know they were going to hire Tom Tomlin when Kyler stepped away? No. No, you didn't because you didn't know who Tomlin was, right? Uh-huh. So there's probably somebody out there that I don't know. fits the mold just like Tomlin did, just like Kyler did as a special teams coach when the Steelers hired him. Like you were to go through the NFL, and you were to go through each head coach, oh. and you said, would I take this guy over Tomlin? Oh. I bet you take Tomlin over three quarters. Uh, of course I would. Three but quarters. on the other side of that, on Dave the other Ball, side of that. Do you think more or no? You think Dave Ball, no. River Vote, I mean, Ron. I mean, no, I take him over any, everybody in the NFC East. Except for except for Philadelphia. I like yeah. Philadelphia. I think Philly's coach. I take Philly's coach. So you say McCartney, <laughs> Dave no. Ball, no. and River Vote. Yes. Yeah. Take him over you take Tomlin over all three of them. Yes. yes. 100%. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Harbaugh? <clears throat> I take Harbaugh. No. I don't even know who the Browns coach is. Kevin uh, Stefani. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, I heard he's on the hot seat. No. Set, and who's Can you imagine being yeah. six and three with the one of the oh, top he, go. he goes to the bars after the game. Yes. Who? Cincinnati. Oh, it's uh, Zach Thomas. So right there, we, yeah, Thomas winning. He's winning, bro. That's what he said. I am finding me less. Listen, I'm not anti Tomlin. I'm going to a few that I definitely would take. I would take Miami. I love that dude. Miami, Kansas City. San Francisco, Philadelphia. All the uh, winners, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the winner winners. Yeah. The why winner. are they winning? Because they they are innovative. They're creative. I agree. They I are, agree with they're, that. They're flexible, adaptable. 
there are all those things that you need to be as a coach but like, looking at your team and adjusting according to who they are, not who you are. The coach at who's the coach at Buffalo? McDermott. McDermott. Yeah. Good coach. Eh. I'd take Tom over. They play together. Because they fired they fired off his coordinator, but was that his fault? Though. But there's a there's an issue. It's not his fault. There's there's that's what I'm saying. Much as they throws on in picks, there's an issue with that team. It's deeper than the offensive coordinator. I agree. Well, I mean, dig, they just got stuff going on digs. Like, that's – people aren't happy. There's something going on. His brother's spouting out, you mean? And then he said, I can't – you know, I have a conversation with my brother. I can't help what he puts out there. Well, obviously, your unhappiness is stemming, you know, from what's going on in the locker room. told somebody room, something. And you told him, yeah. yes, he's speaking on your behalf. Now. Hey, Diggs right. boys, here's a challenge for you. Next time you're in Montgomery Village, hit us up. We'd love to bring you on. Yeah, yeah let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get you out here too. But at the end of the day, I mean, Dix is a stud, but he doesn't get it done to, to take them over the top. He may, I kind of feel like Dix made his, his break on the scene when he had that big catch in Minnesota. <coughs> a playoff year's back. Playoff yeah. game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and and the same thing happened with Odell when he, when he wanted out in New York. He's the one he had a catcher. And, and his dad spoke on his behalf on social media. Yeah. Uh, but Diggs is a top ten receiver. He is. He's legit. He's he's good. He's leading the league. Is he? Yes. Oh yeah, receptions. That's right. Yeah. But yes. but he, I mean, he, easily. There's no. The, you couldn't say there's nine guys better than him or ten guys better. Than him. He's definitely a top. So, so let's talk about this though, real quick. Let's let, let's talk about Kenny Pickett, real quick. Okay. I know we kind of dipped on this, but it's just it's got to the point where people want to run a guy off who's being asked to manage a game. Okay. He's being asked to manage a game. The Steelers' MO, and this is Mike Tomlin, this is Coach Tomlin's MO. Yeah, he wants this. to run the ball, control the clock, and win with defense. He would much rather have his defense out there to win a game the last two minutes than he'd rather have his offense marching down the field to try and win, an, uh, win a game. It, it's clear cut. Mike, you know, he doesn't have Ben Roethlisberger there who's been around for 18 years. He has a kid who's played in the NFL for two years. He now has started enough games that equates to a season, essentially. And he still doesn't want to do that with this kid. He wants him to manage the game. He has the lowest amount of turnovers as a quarterback in the NFL. But he also has the lowest amount of touchdown passes with six. He's not making difficult passes. No, he's not. I don't like. I think they are difficult. Those out routes (laughs) have been not at the NFL level. I don't like they could have been he could he had a couple of pick sixes. I don't like the fact that we're telling that we're saying that this is what it is, even though we're not there. Like we're saying you're saying that Tomlin's telling him this and Tom and Fred's telling him that and they ain't doing this. We don't know that though. We just see it. We're looking at what we see. You can't say I think if Mike T were here with us, he'd say we want to manage the game. I agree with that, Mark. 100%. And the way you manage the game is you control your quarterback by not making dangerous throws down the middle of the field, okay, by trying to run the ball. 207 yards on the ground last week. They had a huge week before. They've got uh, the, the boy Broderick Jones playing that right tackle. Now, Jukes ain't coming back, brother. Jukes is gone. You want to trade him? They won't trade him. They'll just cut him loose after this year. Okay? He done. Uh, or, he done. Or, or he'll let him battle – on the left side with, with Dan, Moore, Dan Moore Jr., okay? Robert Jones, he went from never playing tackle on the right side to being a dominant right tackle right out of the gates. And it, it's insane. So well, so Mike T has two running backs that can run the ball well, okay? Not, make, sure, make sure we keep that in their pocket, too. But he, he just doesn't want Pickett to be the reason that they lose the game. Mm-hmm. And, and we can take that to a game we watched last night, and I'm not throwing anybody under the bus right here, but we watched somebody mm-hmm. throw a pick that made a difference in a game. Right. Okay, You don't put somebody in that situation if you're managing the game, and that's right. what Mike T is. He's always been that way. You guys know that. You guys know that. That, that you know, Steeler fans know that. Even non-Steeler fans know Mike T likes to win with defense, and I get it. He's – if you look at all those guys you're talking about, Mike McDaniel, Kyle Shanahan, think about these guys. Mike McDaniel, Kyle Shanahan, uh, what's Walrus's name down in Kansas City? Brady, Brady, yeah, yeah. Henry Brady. Brady. What are those guys? What kind of coach? Offense. Offensive innovative. coaches. Yeah, innovative right? Innovative offense. offensive coaches. That's why their teams are explosive. The Steelers are not explosive. They don't have a quarterback who's a big high-risk guy because they believe in defense. 
Their defense ain't that good. It's He's so right good wing out. conservative football. Defense, so their defense ain't that good. I don't think it is. <coughs> I, well, I think the defense is good, but I think their secondary plays too relaxed. That's that's the problem. With me. They have arguably the best two defensive ends in the NFL. Now, I'm questioning together, right? Yeah. Is yeah. there anybody? And, better, and, and you know what? Like their pieces that come in, Marcus Golden and, and um, Nick Hurst, yeah. they're they're coming in and making a statement. Yeah. They're coming in and making a statement. So, all right, let's move on from the Stewards. I had enough Steelers talk. Hey, what's up, Mike? Uh, Giants and Cowboys. Giants are garbage. Next. Sorry, Rob Smith. Next. Next. Giants and garbage. Uh, yeah, but one. but let me ask you this. Everybody got really excited the last few times the Cowboys have played because Dak has gone off the chain. Playing 14 low, touchdowns. Playing low-level teams. What happens when Dak plays somebody who's a little bit better? Are we going to see the that? Huh? Still in the film. Yeah. Are we mm-hmm. going to see the real Dak? What, what's happened to Tony Pollard? Have you heard his name lately? No. He ain't, so, he ain't, he ain't Ezekiel. No. So. And they put a lot of money in the Pollard plane, and they were willing to move on from Zeke. So it's going to be interesting to see what, what happens to him. Uh, we're talk, do not throw your, your TV in Black Hills Lake for us, please. <laughs> so <laughs> He has uh, two touchdowns. Who? Oh, Pollard. Two touchdowns, wow. 500 yards. Wow. Week that's in the shocking. Week. That's, that's week 10. That's shocking. I thought he was get so much. Yeah, I thought he was going to get featured. Yeah, he was the feature. That's why they were willing to move on from Zeke. Yeah. That money, of yeah, course. Zeke did. Yeah, that money, of course. Yeah. Um, Commanders Zeke. and Hawks. This was a pretty good game, guys. It was a real good game. Yeah, Commanders went off to the He's Hawks. Not. It was a 29, oh. Yeah, 29-26 uh, final score. Um, how, Mike, I agree with you. And, and we say this. I think every show we talk about Sam Howell. Yeah. Uh, Watson and I saw is he this. Uh, and we saw we saw this two three years ago. Yes. Watson and I saw this. I watched this kid perform in person. Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. It, he just has that it factor. Mm-hmm. He has that it factor. Um, I do think the Commanders are whether they win or lose. I do see them making strides forward. I, I do see the little things that you need to do. Maybe they won't be that team this year. Or not. No, but it's perfect. Just keep dropping down the draft. Move up the draft board and uh, get one of the best offensive linemen. They'll, they'll be good with that. And then one or two other offensive linemen. Let me ask you this. Play that. You play you we'll be tackle we'll or choose. center? Uh, I would go tackle first if, if that's available. I would give best available, honestly. Whatever. Right or left? Or does uh, it doesn't matter. Know. And we'll trade you choops. We'll give you choops. <laughs> They have five picks in the top 100. Yeah. 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 So that's big. Yeah. I don't even know what to do with him. Uh, that's the other key. So is Magic Johnson, Johnson a part of that? He, he needs to get he needs to get somebody in that can do that. He need to get rid of River He's going to make it He's going to make it gonna be the guy. Hopefully. No, here's going to be the guy. Magic, baby. I like the So here's my question. <laughs> if the enemy becomes the guy, yeah. who's going to be the OC? Or is the enemy going to still call and they're going to have I to I was wondering that too. I don't know. Does he go Maybe Kansas he gets a guy like have the same setup like he had Kansas. You get the quarterback coach? Oh, uh, hey, hey. Yep. Hey, they need a legit GM. I, I said this last time, and I've been hearing it a lot. I heard it yesterday, sitting on the couch. They've been talking about Richard Belichick. No. no, they've been talking about Belichick a lot. Mike, like they huh? I just read this morning. Too. Coming, to, coming to D.C. Oh, man. They've been no. talking about Belichick. And I hope it doesn't happen. He just wants to be closer to his mom in Annapolis. He's I, out of touch, man. I want, I'm all notes, man. I want the out of touch. Out of touch. Out of touch. I want the enemy to get that job. I do, too. I want the enemy. I do, too. And anybody but Belichick. I don't want to I think it's time for him to move on. Yeah. 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 He's so he can hang out with Jimbo. Do some fishing down there, and that's it. This is what I'm excited. On the Potomac. On the Potomac. You know, you were saying about somebody coming in and coaching the Steelers, having the opportunity, slow it from <coughs> Houston. I didn't know who that is. So, OC. Off, off that's coordinator. Oh, okay. He was the quarterback's coach in San Francisco, yeah. went down to Houston. Okay. Look at what he's doing down there. This with his kids in 13. Yep. Yep. We're going to get to that. I got oh, that nice. down here. Last game I want to talk about with you guys, I think it's the last game I freaked out, was uh, the Texans and Bengals. Uh, yeah, was, uh, Texans came going back, man. They came back with a vengeance. They're not messing around. Uh, Are they Stroud, good? Stroud's going to be the first quarterback to come out of Ohio State, in my opinion, ever. That's legit. Art Schleister. Yes, two INTs. Schleister sucked. 
it's funny how they came out of that. that, that well, I'll tell you what, he could game short. Looking like geniuses, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Trading Watson. Yeah. They, trading them. Right there, the thought was that good anyway. Hey, you got three number ones. How would you like to be sitting in Carolina's uh, uh, wardrobe knowing that you missed on him? Go to Adam. <laughs> I, Mike, what did so I tell you? You took Terry. You can't miss. You took a, yeah, you took a kid with a body like Terry. <laughs> He's mad at us. Hey, pain <laughs> dips. I told Mike, Mike sits right next to me in the office. I told him, Mike, he was strong, strong, strong. I just don't buy young. I went in the office at that. Corpus of this, carry the I just don't buy young. Tom Tupo was pretty good. Tom Tupo? Yes. He's yeah, a punter. I just stay. He's a quarterback, too. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You know that? You went both ways? Pause. <laughs> was he like Dwight Howard? <laughs> he was like the big juicy with the frizz egg you got down on there. <laughs> Peach, Peach Izzy. Oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, but seriously, <coughs> are we going to see the Texans win that division? How cool would that be? Possibility. Who else is there? Oh, my goodness. It, I mean, like, it would make, uh, who else is there? Who else is that? Who else? Indianapolis. Oh, yeah. Who else? Tennessee, Tennessee, oh, Jacksonville, Tennessee. Jacksonville, Jacksonville. Oh, Jacksonville's been on my team. It was all sad teams. Jacksonville. Oh, you think? Yeah. Yeah. You think they could be? Uh, That'd be great. They I want to see them match up now. I want to see Jacksonville and uh, yeah, Houston, Houston match up now because yeah. I, I could see Houston beating them. That's probably the last game of the season too. Yeah, they try trying, they try to line up like that. That would be there. nice. I like how they. The pair or put them play the or play earlier and then they play them at the end. Yeah, that's really neat. Is Singletary going to stay as the lead back since he's ripping it off? Yeah, he Damian, fits, he fits but, the offense. But when Damian Pierce comes back, I mean, that's a trail. He doesn't fit there, he doesn't fit that scheme, they say. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I got Singletary on flats. I mean, um, fantasy. Just well, because you got him on fantasy doesn't team. mean you don't fit that scheme. I got they Singletary, but they were saying his scheme. They were saying <laughs> Singletary was going to play because he fits his scheme. <clears throat> that pair of tight one issue of trade. Singletary from Buffalo. Devin. Did he? I don't know where he came from. That's where he, he did come from. Buffalo. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So wow. here's my question about the Bengals now. Okay. Yeah. You've got Bumbles. Burrow, Mixon, Chase. Nice three, right? Nice three. Nice three. Do they ever regain the form they gained two years ago? To make a run at the Super Bowl again, Burrow's out. Right. And I'm not talking this year, though. Yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah. just not talking this year. So next year, <laughs> but the Bengals do that. <laughs> they got to pay Chase. They got to pay him. That's what I think the problem is right now because this was the year that they could. They were yeah. supposed to do it because it you got to start paying people now. So yeah, now you can't pay everybody. Everybody can't be paid. Let's, paid. let's people say, hey, for the t- t- sake of the team, I'll take. That well, they already said they're moving on. <laughs> Listen, they already said they're moving on from Higgins. You know what Higgins said? Oh, wow. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Okay? Higgins is the number one. You think? Over Chase? He's one B. They don't. They don't do the right thing. They don't move tomorrow around. <clears throat> Chase. They something, something. Something. Oh, you mean like they do with George Pickens and Pittsburgh? His route running too is just no. Good. It's similar. Just Chase it very similar. Chase only has two outs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not feature him like Tyreek Kill gets featured? Like I don't understand it. I don't think these guys can get open. He's, uh, a, he's a different receiver. Chase definitely can. Yeah. Okay. That dude's legit. That's why receiver university got their LSU. I like. They're it. in Ohio State. I, love I mean, those two schools put out probably the most unquestionably best wide receivers in the NFL. He's, he's not as fast as Tyreek Hill. He's much bigger. I'll take it. But he's athletic. He's very athletic. Can he run the tree? I, I definitely think he can run the tree. Okay. I think he graduated with 2.0, so we're good. Odds are out. Evens are in. I just think the Bengals, if you don't know, know the difference between the two and four, just run out. I think the just Bengals got in. one more year. Uh, I think their window's one more year. I think their window's one more year. <laughs> In yes. my opinion, because then the money has got to start getting shown. Yeah. Official reporter. Yeah. 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 Here we go. T. Uh, T says. T. We're not even going to count uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Pittsburgh. It's got to be Pittsburgh. So many injuries. Browns. Oh. Jags. What a jag! Wow. You better not come home from Thanksgiving. Uh, I tell you what. Some people bury them. Hey, you know what, Rasheed? 
with you, bro. I know. I just know the way the Steelers are going to approach this. Remember Ryan Mallett? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he beat us. Showed up on Wednesday. Who? Pratt Ryan Mallett. Right. God rest his soul, baby. Poor guy drunk. Poor guy drunk. Show up in Baltimore on Wednesday. Chicago, Detroit. Is this across the board? Who's Chicago, Detroit? Chicago's in Detroit. Beat Town. Definitely. Irving. Detroit, Detroit, baby. Detroit. My boy Irving. That's his team. All right. Uh, Chargers at Green Bay. Chargers. Yago Chargers. 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 Give me the Bolts. I'm I'm, I'm right there. Cross the board. Um, Vegas at Miami. Miami. Cross the ball. I'm gonna go Vegas. The Vegas A's. I'm gonna go Vegas. How? Give me because they have Antonio Pierce, the coach. Yeah, okay. You know what? He's made a difference. I'm gonna yeah. send him some cigars. But still, difference. give me Miami. Dude, right. he has got their attention. Okay. Yep. You know what he does? He gets the best players the ball. Okay. Uh, Genius. This is a good game. Happen a little bit this more is a good game time. for your skins, Tony. Okay. For your Commanders. For your Washington skins. Washington. skins. Where the hell they call? Giants are skins. in DC. 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 Let's just say DC. Yeah. Skins, baby. Right, we're going to see what they Go, go, Mickey. Um, Dallas at Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We yes. have us about this. We can get, get 22 people out on the streets in Carolina. Sorry. I'm playing Dak over Mahomes this week. Ooh. Uh, because yeah. they're Carolina yeah. is playing sure. Dallas. Well, they might just run the ball a lot, but be careful. I doubt. Um, oh, that's a good decision. Tennessee and Jacksonville. This is a good game. This is a great match. Uh, Jacksonville. Uh, it's not it's a good. Three points. Give me the Jags. I'm gonna go Tennessee. Wait, where is it? I'm going. I'm going. On. It's in Jacksonville. Jags. All right. Duval. I'm gonna go with you, Mike. I just think that the defense. Oh. <laughs> I just think that Tennessee is gonna continue with the scrambling his brain because it's not Tennessee's defense is the issue; it's their offense. Right. You know. Um, but like Arizona at Houston. Is this, is this Murray's uh, comeback? Is this his? He played last week. He did. Yeah. Wow. Arizona used to be. He played pretty good, too. Oh, Houston. Oh, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Cross the board. <laughs> Frisco. Tampa Bay at Frisco. Who else? Frisco. 49ers. Cross the board. Yeah. Got a lot of cross the board this week, guys. That's um, six. Jets at Buffalo. Mm. Jets. Buffalo. Listen, Jets defense, man. There it goes. Yes. I'm going hey. Buffalo. Too legit. Too legit to quit. I'm going with Buffalo, baby. Going with the love. Young, what do you think? Give me the bills. Mafia. Okay. Mafia. Would you that, jump? Would you cross the ball? Jump on my tables? Oh, I would. No. What the heck? No. I be crazy to me. I be breaking all kind of Man, stuff. You're gonna sit your old ass. I mean, I just I'll be all right. Receive what you doing? No. 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 All right. So I'm. You're yeah. jumping off of this. You mean? I could. No. no I'm, <laughs> I'm. I'm not very smart. You jumping off Bosco's van? I mean. <laughs> I teach high school. I'm not very smart. Um, That's it. We've got Seattle with the Rams. Oh. Across the board. 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 I'm taking the Rams. Oh, all right. Nice. That's it. It could happen. Puka and Cooper? No. <laughs> Cooper, like a law firm. Yeah, Cooper, Cooper. Um, law firm or a bad Dobbs versus oh, Russ. Oh, my boy Dobbs, baby. I'm no, going Denver. no eyebrows. This is in my life. Okay. I'm going Denver. We're going with Denver. Is that across the board? Young, who are you going? No, wait, 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 wait. I said Minnesota. I'm sorry, I got Minnie. Oh, okay. No, it's not across the board. What about to say? It's my boy. Where is the game? It's in Denver. My life. Denver. My life. Four in a row. Put up the fours. Four in a row. B94. I will tell you this. I, well. I have Justin Jefferson in my fantasy league, and he is not playing again this week. Wow. Yeah. He's out. This will be six game in a row. He's been out. He's known as nice. Um, last game. He's been doing the gritty. Because that game is a, <laughs> that game is a Sunday He's night game. Uh, Philly at Kansas City. Whoa. What a game. Kansas City. Okay, sizzle. I really want to take Philly, but no, you don't. The fact that it's in it's a cross couple. I'm struggling with this one. Across I see Philly's defense, man. 
No, their secondary is terrible. Banged up. Terrible. They get busted is up. Hurt? With Mahomes. Come oh, on, y'all. I'm going to KC. You guys better go. KC. That's, I told you. I, I I'm going for my uh, brother in law, Jake. Hey, hey I just kind of feel like the snake. Plumber? Um, oh, Reese, you know, Reese, you right. Who's that? That's the number one receiver in Kansas City. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, no, that is three. three. <laughs> he wears like eight. R A S A G. Rashi Rice. Rashi Rice. He wears like number eight or something. Yeah. yeah, he's their number one guy. Where do you go? SMU? He only has 400 yards. Mm. He's their number one guy. About, How crazy is that? What about Kadarius Tony? Uh, all right, check out. Let's go here, guys. This is this is the main segment. All right. Uh, squeeze. The main coaching squeeze. is the backbone for all sports. But my guy Rasheed has a different take on it. Share it. I say when you're in high school and college partially, then yes, coaching is it. But if you've been drafted playing the NFL or NBA, LB, whatever the league may be. I don't think there's much that another grown man who hasn't reached that pinnacle can teach you. What can he tell you? If I'm covering people and he never played defensive back, what's he telling me? And, that, and that's why we got so many bad teams now, bad offenses, bad defenses, because of bad coaching. What can you what can you teach a grown up? That's like teaching me like new sex moves. Like I'm a grown up. I just know how to teach me. Have you ever watched? Have you ever read Kuma <laughs> No, I haven't. All right, you might want to get into that. Yeah, okay, well, whatever the case may be. Kuma Sutra, whatever. Go ahead, y'all can go. Y'all can go on do what I got to say because I just, you know, noobs. I, I mean, I definitely disagree. I think coaching is essential. I think, I think you gotta have. So, say I'm a DBs coach. I still have to coordinate all that stuff. I have to tell those guys, like I have to make sure the corner, the safety, the safety, the corner, and the nickel are all on the same page. Like I, we have to be able to coordinate everything, and work together. But they're in the end. How often do they all run just zero? Okay. They don't. I mean, there's a okay. lot of there's a lot of the Browns, the Jets. Nah, they all run. They, it's it's all the variations. Okay. They're all variations. Okay. Always that help over the top for. So you you guys are saying you need coaches to call the play to coordinate every scheme. You're not teaching me that. Uh, no, I think You're not teaching me that. Like I go, I got seen last night at the high school game where the receiver would come off the, the sideline's right here, and he'd be way out here. He's way out here on the sideline, and they get the DB right here. Where should the DB be? Where should he be? Well, yeah, because there's nowhere to go but in. He's pushing it to the side. Yes. Okay, yeah. thank you. That's so, what I'm saying. No, but I, you're but, not teaching anything. No, but I, I think you need someone to evaluate your technique. And and it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have a professional who that's all they do their whole life is their job is to help you be a better technician at whatever you're doing. I'll take the discus or the shot put as an example. Say I throw the discus in the Olympics, mm -hmm. right? I know everything there is to know about the Olympics, right? I mean about the discus. I can throw the discus, I can videotape myself, I can self-correct. But it still helps to have a second set of eyes to say, hey, you need to turn the right foot just a little bit more. Get your okay. right foot ahead of your – Is that – Those little things make – Right, but is that coaching? Yes. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And I was going to say the same thing because I'm, I'm coming from a baseball point of view, thinking about a pitcher or a hitter. They know how to hit. They know how to throw a ball 100 mile an hour. Uh -huh. But there's those mechanics and exactly what you were saying. Yeah. Right. There's well, fine, well, it's, it's this constant fine-tuning. And having that second set of eyes so are we to, help, and, to help coach them up. And also, are we saying coach them up when it's somebody like a fifth round pick from wherever? Because, like, what are you teaching guys like Aaron Donald? What are Aaron you teaching Donald's guys exception, like Deion Sanders? The exception. Aaron Donald's the exception. But you got to coach all the other guys out. Deion Sanders is an exception. Yeah. So, so we're so saying, so you're saying the fifth round guys. There's a core of guys <laughs> okay. that if are elites. Let's just say elite at their craft. Well, okay, so take the Rams. You sit, you can start for the Rams. Just take take the 53 man roster. How many of those guys are elite? One. One. So 52 guys need to be coached. And not only that, mm -hmm. I don't think any of us are great self critics. Like, I don't, I don't think anybody in the world, especially kids nowadays, the youth, mm -hmm. they are not good self critics. Like, they, they are like, mommy and daddy have told me I'm great. Why didn't you give me an A? Why didn't you give me an A? I should get an A. I'm good at like, self critiquing. Okay. I can watch a 50 year old man. Yeah, but I'm talking a 30 year old about, I can't do. I'm talking about kids. Okay. And, and and when I say kids, even 20, 20 something year olds, they're not good at self critiquing. 
they their image of themselves is so much higher than what it really is. I agree with that. So it, yeah. it helps to have somebody here around you it. and kind of put you in your place and say, you know what? You're really not. There's 20 other guys in the league that are better than you at corner. But is that coaching? Yes, it is. Yes, it's motivating. Yeah, it's somebody coaching. has to tell you that this is what's going on. And the head coach and the defense coordinator or the off head coach and the offense coordinator, that's not their responsibility unless they're a position coach. Mm -hmm. The position coach's responsibility is to refine you to play the system that the defense coordinator or offense coordinator is putting in place. The head coach oversees what they're doing, signs off on the game plan for all three of the coordinators so that everything is running smoothly. It's even like on the offense. There's a guy who tells you what you should run based on what they see. Usually the offensive line coach is the run game coordinator. Okay. Because he knows the finer points of what his line can do and he can adjust his line. As you're going forward, if you're not running the ball like you said you should when you look at film, he puts his guys, he sits them down, and he says, look, we need to adjust because here's what they're doing to us to take this away that we thought we could have. Now we need to go ahead and do this. So all I'm hearing is game plan. I'm not hearing, hey, technique. Yes. I, I think technique should Tec be reviewed. Right, I'm sure. Technique is part of, part sure of game plan. They're graded out every single play. They're graded. You know, like. You know, every sack guy, guy who gets sacks, they have their own move. So you think the coach has said, hey, man, pass me, try to spin. Yeah, I'm sure they work on that. Yeah, and let's let's work on that. But you Harrison, know what? you got to get you gotta get flat. They're starting, to, they're starting to catch on that. So let's go ahead and do the bull rush and do the rip after that now because they're catching on your spin. They're, they're, they're stepping out to come your out, spin. Or they're stepping down to your spin. Let's do this bull rush. I want you to get up under here with the fake step to the outside and then do the inside Rip, you know, like these guys are looking for that point specifically in terms of what they want you to apply as an individual. So I, I recently uh, went to a clinic, not, I guess two years ago or whatever. There was, uh, it, was a, it was a coach who had coached in the NFL, and he said the number one thing the NFL guys want is they want to know what you can give them to make them better. If you don't have anything to I make them it. better, okay. then they don't they will not respect you as a coach. So to gain the respect. You better be deep in knowledge, and you better be able to get them better. That, that was his. That was. His I think. I think that's at any level yeah. too, and and got, especially coaching young men, they want to know how much you know. Well, I can say, like I'm saying, high school. I can agree. College, yes. Just, I don't know, man. Listen, how old are you? Forty-nine. Okay, you're forty-nine. The game and the game evolves. Okay, <laughs> it's like that thing I sent you about Babe Ruth today. Babe Ruth was top of this fucking game forever. Okay, yes, race was the thing then. You didn't have Hispanic, you didn't have black, you didn't have Latino, Asian. you didn't have Asian. You know, none of those guys. All right, but now you've got every guy possible that can play in Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. What makes them different? What makes it better? Because you know, I'm working on it. Urban Dumas was working on a new weight program that helps to bring out the best in you. He's putting that out there. So this year, he's done that. Next year, I'm working on something analytically that we're going to fine-tune on to make you even better from that perspective. That's what these guys are working on in the offseason. These guys aren't sitting at home oh, and bonbons on the couch. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just – these guys have got to find their bottoms. bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> but – does that make sense to you? That does make sense, yes. Yeah. I, you know what, though? Everybody at the bar, I can cover. Him, him, him. Oh, but him. you can't cover her. She oh. looks like she can get out after us. She, she, yeah. Um, but as you end of the day, Rasheed, <laughs> the one thing I will agree with you on 100% is I think there's, you can't call it nepotism, but Mike's no. my buddy. I just got a head coaching job. Mike's going to come in and coach for me. Oh. You, well, that's, but but that's different, though, if he got a job and gave you a job. Because I know that you, you're I'm good. Like, you're my job, though. But you are. That's not true. I already know that. So that's not true. That's not true. So that's different when you bring somebody in and then your defense stinks. You bring in guys that you're comfortable with. Yeah. So a lot, of, a lot of these teams stinking, man. A lot of these coaches. Okay, I'm going to go this are direction. Are you comfortable or confident? I'm, I'm going to go this direction with you, though. And, and this is, this is again, I'm going to go to the Steelers because I know that it's so well. Matt Canada was behind Myers getting hired as the offensive line coach, and 
and the guy who got hired as the Steelers receivers coach, uh, Frisman. Yeah, yeah. Well. So he had experience with those guys. He brings in those guys. Because they're going to be like, yeah. Because yeah, they're comfortable yeah. with him, okay? They were coaching a Carolina offense that ranked in the bottom three of the league. Now, God dang, I love bringing in Mike to coach for me when he's coaching somewhere else. If he's still, he's my boy. Right. Okay. I want doing the same thing with you. I'm bringing in guys who can get the job done. I want to win. At the NFL, it's like a business. You don't go into a business saying, Definitely. I just want to be 500 in my business and break even every year. Right. And that's where, like, that's where my problem comes in with Mike Tomlin. And I'll be honest with you. This is where my problem comes in. Everybody sizes that he is a 500 or better coach, but he doesn't win at the yeah, next I don't, step. I don't want to be fat. But the business probably isn't just breaking even. Just like Bob Nutting's business isn't just breaking even. They're making money on all kinds of stuff. As losers. Exactly. They're making money on As all losers. kinds of stuff, so it doesn't matter what the record says. Did you get called by the Pittsburgh Steelers to buy season tickets? Not yet. Okay, but how close are you? They say close. Okay, so he's very close. After a handful of years, you know why he's very close? Because that team is not performing at a superior level. If they were still performing at a superior level in the playoffs, winning a couple of games, Young's name would be way down on that list. But now mm -hmm. it's getting to the point where people who are spending that money to buy those tickets are right. kind of like, uh, all right, great, this guy's 9-8 and eight again this year. Well, you get commander's tickets. I'm good. 50 yard line, bro. I'm good. <laughs> you can go on Vivid any day. You show up and play. Shit. I told you, we're, we're trying to go to see Kiss here in a few weeks in Baltimore. Yeah. And I've been watching the tickets are dropping. Uh -oh. They're at 77 bucks. Where the hell is uh, Kiss going to be? They're going to be at Baltimore Arena. Oh, wow. I'll give you a shout out if you want to go see Kiss. What's that? That uh, downtown area? That downtown? Is yeah. it right off? Right, it's literally that right down? off. That down? No, you won't be jumped there. No, it's that down. Is it? No, no, it's a nice no, area. It's a nice area. The whole. And just uh, the whole thing. It's yeah. a nice one. I don't know what Kiss City is. I sure want to rock and roll all night long. Yeah. 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 That's the only one. You know Detroit Rock City. Everybody knows Detroit Rock City. Yeah. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic. Everybody knows Detroit okay. Rock City. Okay, two. That's it. You got it. You're good. Back, yeah, there's a few you'd recognize. But we, we don't paint our faces yeah. or not. <laughs> you know, I mean, you got this year. We'll see. If I take the paint off, I might paint my shit up. Oh, 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 <laughs> we all come in looking like Ace Freely in school. <laughs> playing the bass hey. guitar. So, so <clears throat> those coaches, like, do they have to play Division One? Do they have to play at the next level? Um, did Andy Reid? I don't know. Did the guy? I don't know. can't keep <laughs> using those guys. <laughs> did the guy from Miami? Mike McDaniel? The no, Shanahan? The Shanahan? Yeah, Did the guy see. from uh, Miami Heat? Oh, shit, that's who. Did he what? Did he play anywhere? I don't know. Who are you talking about? The head coach? The head coach. Spolstra? Spolstra. Yeah, Spolstra. I don't know where he played. I don't agree with none of that. He, he played with himself. He played in Virginia room. High. He was in the I don't know room. how I feel about so yeah. those who didn't play. I don't <laughs> know. This is what I did. That, what can I you think, teach me if you didn't play? Listen, yeah. this is what I think. I think the best coaches are guys that played that were limited athletically. They had to figure out a way to overcome their okay. lack of athleticism like to be able to be proficient at what they did. I would, there's so many guys who, like, they just can't explain what they did. Like, I don't know if Troy Polamalu could explain what he did. He was just a freak on the field. He can't, he, he just had that instinct. They just turned him loose. No I, I don't want to no say coach. I don't want to say Troy. You well, Troy would be or would be a good coach, coach but there's players like that who just can't right. put it into words like, because they just ball. Right. Sean Taylor. Yeah, yeah. He's like Dan Marino. Like, how's Dan Marino explain somebody how to throw the ball and it comes out so natural for him? Just, just Dan Marino's the only guy I saw that took a snap, step straight back like this. Yeah. He didn't take a, a regular. Yeah, he just. Back, back we back had this kid one time. Walked his fouls, did. Jeffrey Jackson. God bless Jeff. He was a good kid. Jeffrey Jackson. That's what he did. I remember one time. Back yeah, he did the he really? did it, Dan Marino. And, and Watson looks at me. I look at him because Jeffrey thought he was a quarterback. <laughs> Watson looks at me, I look at him, Watson says, he don't know, you know, is he? I said, oh, hell no. No, you know, he tried, he tried to think, I said, Jeff, 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 Jimmy Marino. But you think about those guys who have been gifted, like even like Michael Jordan in basketball. Like, how does he coach someone like he, he's so gifted? Right. With, you know? He, he wasn't good at coaching. He wouldn't be. He just don't be frustrated. He was so, he was so, yeah, he was But there's those guys who are devoted and dedicated to studying the game who can X and O like crazy. That's yeah. how I became. X and O is something different again. I do. 
the way, been, been being able to I'm communicate doing. it and putting people in the right positions and getting them ready to execute. But then you got a guy like Mike who went and played in Wake Forest. He learned a whole ton of shit going the whole way through. Right. He played under a great high school yes. coach in, in Harville. He went to Wake Forest. He played under a really good coach there. He learned. He's a smart guy. But, but I was limited at athletic. Yeah, I didn't work. Right. I didn't but, work too. But then you, <coughs> came into, then you came into being a really He's guy. modest. So, you know, in my opinion, you came into being a superior high school head coach. If you were, well, I was grabbing it down. I get people. You had good talent, Mike. But you, you put the pieces of the puzzle in place to be really good. You but, know? But you do. And you held accountable. You said, look, receiver, you're coaching my receivers. I'm holding you accountable to my receivers. Young, you've got my DBs. You're accountable. Yeah, I was a get back coach. I got the DBs. I got the DBs. I got the DBs. I got the DBs. Yeah. So, so we don't know yeah, what some of these guys can do that are successful either, but we do know that yeah, right now that some of the things we know about NFL coaches, it's an offensive-minded game because offensive-minded teams with head coaches <clears> are the ones that are winning. Right. You're right. Yeah. We do know that. Okay, did you know that? So, hey, um, we brought some light to Rasheed today. We brought some Rocky Rasheed. He's back in the gym. Here's the thing about it, though. Y'all don't know this about Rasheed. He challenges us, and I never get upset with it. But he challenges. The only problem is he starts challenging our asses at about nine thirty night, but we gotta get up and teach. But he challenges our thinking, and I love that about our show, and I love that about having Rasheed on our show. But how about this? He talked about a guy like Darrell Revis. He talked about a guy like Dion. He talks about a guy like Aaron Donald. Do you build your team around that guy and let that guy do what he can best? Oh, if you get Prime, one of those guys. Yeah. Prime, yeah. That's, that's, that was none. That's what it was none. Prime, mm-hmm. you got this side of the field. We're going to do what we do here, but this is you here. And he went from Dallas to San Francisco, and, and they won, right? Yeah, the same Dallas way. won. My San Francisco, they won. Yeah, the ball, like the championships follow. Him and Revis did this. I forgot they did. Baltimore. I saw we. I showed the kids a video on Friday of uh, Ray Lewis, Mike Duck, and he sat down on the bench at practice. He on set right next to him. Kids are like Coach Prime. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's Coach Prime. That locker room was crazy. <laughs> that locker room. Was yeah, crazy. Dion had this sat, and everyone else played in this room. Uh, Dion had half the field. They won. <laughs> Yeah, that you three guys get the other half. Ed Reed, I mean, there was some dudes. It was pretty. That might. Those <coughs> guys from Miami. Yeah. That 2001 roster was sick. Hey, check this out. Noobs put this out for us. This is the 2013 Redskins staff, but they were still called the Redskins. Yeah. Okay. Kyle Shanahan, Ooh. who's now how did the they head coach in San Francisco. Let's talk about that. How did they let him go? They, did, they had Dan Snyder as the owner. Matt LaFleur. Who's done a solid job in and Green Bay? And I'll say yeah. solid, not spectacular. Solid. He's saying coach McVay with one, the Rams won a Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yep. Okay. And he's doing well with the shit he has this year. Okay. Who's the head coach? <laughs> Shanahan. Uh, the older Shanahan. Oh, look, Mike McDaniel was there. He's now yeah, the head coach like, of the Dolphins. Yes, uh, Slowick, who's the uh, 36 year old offensive coordinator from the Houston Texans. And Chris Forster, who's an old line coach. For the Niners, which is a dominant O line, uh, Raheem Morris, who's been a head coach in Tampa, and now is the uh, uh, defense coordinator in San Francisco. So wow. that was, that's, that's a stat. So that's the nepotism <laughs> right there because they knew each other. He come back. No, that's these guys do a good job at what they do. Yeah, nepotism is when you bring somebody in like, like I bring you in to coach my receivers. No, because I can definitely coach my receivers. That's easy. <laughs> but they, that's easy. Shanahan knew him from. Nepotism, hold on, nepotism is when. Hold on, I just, I just seen it. I said, what the hell? How are you, relative? That's what it is. It is. Giving a job to or a your friend. friend. Giving a job to right. a friend. Right. But wait, who, I just seen one. I said, why the hell? Huh? I can't remember. But nepotism, yeah, that's when you bring somebody in, and you know they, and everyone's like, what the hell are they doing? Well, it's like your son. You hire your son to. The DB's coach. If he's good at it, that's okay. Well, that's it. Shanahan was the head coach. He that's great. Son. That's you know, awesome. Shanahan in San Fernando. I said that's not the to me. So yes, but that's different because his it's, it, both Shanahan's know how to coach. It's, it's known that they can coach. But it wasn't at the time. Raheem, like, oh, Moore, sure. Raheem Morris coached with Young Shanahan in D.C. Young Shanahan's in San Fran. And Raheem Morris Nepotism is fine when your staff is good. It's just bad when the staff isn't right. But it's still nepotism. 
Okay. Yeah, nepotism is good when you've got a good staff. You think that's about your nepotism right now? Who? Who the coach? His son's the nepotism. His kid's like running around with balls on the sidelines. That's it. Fuck yeah, his kid kicked the ball on the field and he had it down on the 10-yard line. I'm thinking, you know, I'm ready to go, hey, kid, get the ball on the field! And then I realized that was Clip's kid. Oh my God, that's funny. Clip, if you heard that, man, don't yell at your kid, but that happened. Um, <laughs> Hey, yeah, I was texting this this morning about you? Yeah. Uh, if your team stinks, nepotism is killing it. But there's a lot of people in the NFL that have jobs because they know somebody. Yeah. So what's what's the difference between good and great then? Because Machine asked that question. Good and great? Yeah. What's the difference? Coaching wise? Coaching or players. Coaching wise. Great. The difference between good and great is the record. Is Deion Sanders and any other cornerback. <laughs> great and good. What you mean? Well, well coaching wise, I think the difference is maximizing your potential. So, like, we talked about the Duke guy, right? Mm -hmm. I think he's a great coach, even though his team is, I don't know, 74, something, whatever. Because he, he's at Duke, A, he has lesser athletes. And he's, it's hard, it's hard to get, get in. can't even get kids in. If you were to go, you know, you'd always talk about that uh, star thing. Like, if, if, if you were to get, Go to their grades versus everyone else's grades. Grade they play. Three, I bet they. I bet there's there's only three teams they play that they're better than. Right. Based yeah. off of that. Yeah, based off of that. They probably got a bunch of three and two. Yes, but they develop Maybe that talent for and he, and he puts them in the best position to win. And he got athletes this year. Keeps them motivated. Sure. He definitely has athletes. This year. He's recruited well. Yeah. He's done well the last two years. Doesn't four kids. Yeah. So he got smart kids that can play the game, which is hard to find. So could Xavier play them? Uh, if they wanted to. Hey, hey, he can make noise. <laughs> oh, you're fine, y'all. You're fine. Um, you're fine. <laughs> We're just having fun. Yeah, I mean, he got athletes. So, yes. so our kid, Xavier from Northwest, if you saw this kid, you'd be like, damn, why isn't he going D1 playing for someone legit? He's a smart kid. He wants to go. What do you tell us, Yale? Uh, yeah, right now. He's, he's playing football. Go there. He's going to go, he's gonna go there and Great. play football. He's yeah. awesome, kid. If you heard, if you saw this kid play like and then you talk to this boy, if you saw him playing up to this boy, you would never know it's the yeah. same person. Like, he's so low key. What's on the other? Great kid. Yeah, he's What's just like, 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 yeah, he's like, yeah. He's, he's going to be probably linebacker. Yeah, that's a good strong that's safety. That's, that's a good game. Right? Play off ball, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, but it's yeah, that education. It's kind of interesting to see kids like that. Like, we see that a lot. A little bit. Not not like him. He's unique. In well, him. we've had some we've downturn had, lately. We've never had any <laughs> We've had some downturn lately in terms of. High level D1 kids in our school. We've had some good D1 kids. We've never had Ivy League. Are the receivers going to go to the um, Division one? The two that we have now? Yeah. Where Where and Cam 25s, they should. They should. Yeah. Cam has, and I was, was telling Mike, I was telling Mike to stop. Yeah. Cam, Cam, Cam Needy's a kid's name. I said it like that. Cam, yeah. Uh, yeah. I see What's something that? in that boy as a player. And a student, like he takes care of his grades. He's got a, he's a yeah. tough, tough ass kid. I see something in him yeah. that some of our other kids that have come through that went on to play D1 that he has that they don't have. And I'm talking kids that are playing currently, and I'm talking kids that have come through there that have skill <coughs> and talent. This kid has a just different, there's something different about Cameron. Go to Merlin, son. Merlin. He's a funny kid. Yeah. There's, there's, he is. He's resilient. I, I like that kid. And we battled too, brother. We battled. Great kid. You know, and he knew where I came from. So, um, all right, Adrian. We're going to skip the four and five star stuff because we don't want to talk about that. But I like this. She gave us a final segment we're adding to the show. The final Top segment. five all pro sport power rankings. Any oh. sport out there, okay? Wow. We've got basketball. We've got football. Wow. And we've got hockey going There we go. Jam, you Duke fan. Yeah. yeah. My daughter's a freshman there. Nice. Ah. 10 and 0, they win today. Be I don't even know what they play. Uh, <laughs> but you got that sweatshirt on. Great. And the t shirt, the polar bear. Yeah. Oh, go Dukes. Who do you think is the number one team in sports, sports right, right now? now? All sports. Wait. No, no. All sports. You can throw baseball out there. are not playing baseball. Right, 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 right. But they did. Yeah, Texas just won. No, I can't But it, so, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be. But, but they're not playing. Like, so we're saying, like, the Lakers over. 
It could be anybody. The Eagles. Eagles. So yes. Lakers ain't even the top four. Let's no, I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're picking Chiefs. all sports. No. Chiefs <clears> won. Who are the best team in football? The Chiefs. Chiefs are not the best team in football right now, Mike. Who's the best team? <coughs> Probably Philly. Uh, Philly. Actually, Mike, you want to really get down to the nitty gritty, I'd say Houston. No. No. What the hell? No. Right now? They no, haven't no, done enough. No, no. Houston came running back against Cincinnati and beat no, Cincinnati, who was a Super Bowl contender, no, with Joe Burrow playing quarterback and no no injuries. They'll get one or two playoff runs. Supposedly no injuries. They didn't count it. All right. At the end go. of the day, I think they're one of the best teams in football right I don't now. Know. One of the best. Let's but go I'm... hockey. Who's hockey? Blackhawks? No. Celtics got to be on that list. Celtics got to be on that list. Where you put them? One through five. I don't know how hockey is going right now. How are, is there anybody that's ridiculous in hockey? Don't be sure to run away with it. No. I can tell you, Edmonton is so bad that Edmonton? even though, yeah, even with Connor McDavid and uh, Dreisaitl, uh, I mean they the right. are three and nine. They had to fire the head coach. Sheesh. Whatever yeah. train a lot of people. If, if I was going to put anybody at the top in terms of hockey, I'd have the Rangers up there and I'd have Boston up there. Boston yes. is definitely yes, at the top of the list. Yes. Boston is at the top of the list until the playoffs. Rangers I get to the Boston Boston because the Celtics are the Celtics are holding it down in the NBA. You gotta go Eagles. Oh, Eagles gotta go on that list. Oh, Philly. Wow. Philly at number three. So we're, we're Philly Eagles, not Philly Phillies. So we're are we saying Philly Phillies? We're saying Celt we're saying Bruins, Celtics, Bruins, Celtics Eagles. Eagles. <laughs> Top three teams in professional hey, sports right now. Hey. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm honest with you. Sixers ain't too far off of that list right now. Either. Sixers? Yeah. Yeah, because he got rid of Harden. Eight and two. Six or seven. And, and they beat Boston. Wait a minute. Are we saying, is this all time? Is this? No, no it's it's today. Right, right now, today. 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 Right now you say that. Jesus. Wow. You this know who their is owner is, right? Sixers. You know who the Sixers owner is? Who owns the Washington Redskins? Commanders, right? Really? That's the Sixers, yeah. Yes. I did not realize that. Yeah. Harris, Josh Harris. Yeah, Josh Harris. Harris. Yeah, all that money. Is, is, uh, Josh Harris. Is, uh, what's his name? Middle Net Magic? Oh, no. Is he on the Sixers? Sixers? No. What about the Dodgers? Dodgers are in baseball. We're not Blessing. talking baseball. Blessing. 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 We're not allowed to say baseball? No, it's not no, being played right, right now. Well, it's still... Oh, I mean, how about top five all pro uh -huh. sport? No, no. It can't, it can't be college. It can't be college. It's all pros. Pros. You don't think Georgia could line up and beat one of those teams? No, no, no. Georgia could beat them. Uh, Las Vegas. Knights. Oh, God. Like Angel is the shit. Yeah, no. Uh, what? I just won the Stanley Cup last year. You said no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got your thing. Top five, guys. All right. Go Boston go. Bruins. All right. Boston Celtics. Jeez. Okay. Philly Philly. Philly Sixers. Um. Philly Eagles, well, we'll go Eagles, then Sixers, and then we'll go Vegas Knights. That's our top five this week in all sport top five. All right, I'm not going to be Pittsburgh anymore. We're going to be Boston. Oh, shit. Yeah. Noob, Noob, give me your at Coach Noob on Instagram and Twitter. There you go. Formerly known as Twitter, now X. There you go. Shane, the dream? I'm easy to find, baby. That's what he always says. Easy. Shane Hill. Find me, baby. 50 year old men, sign up. You get all those requests, don't you? Yes. And in the spring, listen, in the spring, we look. Requests. In the spring, you're old man, sign the up. Spring, there you go. Sign up in the spring. We're going to film this. Pause. It's going to be on the show. Pause. Yeah. We all know we we'll have a responsibility sheet that you sign off on. Says so you're going to fuck over your health. Or any other shit that's going on. 50 year old men, sign up. <laughs> Did you want to go watch this? I got these expenses on the credit card. What is this about? <laughs> Come on now. What these hugs? <laughs> Tell me how you find these shits. You can find me in Rockwell Brewery. Come on out. And give me another beer. And one young Terry. Please, <laughs> hey, find us at podpage.com, Losing Sports Podcast with Mark Meriday. You can also find us on any social media platform, either as OSP with Eminem or Original Sports Podcast. Love my guys. We've had so much fun. 
Thanks for coming out and joining us today. <coughs> Go ahead and email us with any questions, comments, concerns. If you'd like to just come out and hang out with us in our next live show, we'd love that to happen. Um, <coughs> thanks to Sean and Kodiak. Have a great Thanksgiving. We're doing our voice intro and outro. Charlie Hodgson, who we're going to have out soon, play a little music for one of our shows. Nice. And you sure got to say something. Oh, and my wife, our webmaster. Today, today. Go watch See you all next time. Have a good Thanksgiving. Have a good Thanksgiving. Have a good Thanksgiving. What do you do? He said, what do you do? In string, fool. <laughs> <laughs> End it. Oh, my God. I said yes. Again.